glorious net. True. See, it's looking out there at you when you're playing in your car. But that we is. Yeah, well, go back out there and play with your car so it can take your picture. Okay. Hi, Daddy. Say hi. Say hi. Hi. How are you? How old are you? <coughs> Two. She's talking about getting the mosquito, right? Mm -hmm. Did you get the mosquito? About Twinkle Twinkle? No. What can you sing? You sing Jingle Bells? No. Ah, uh, you can sing that too, I know. Do you want to sing ABCs? What have no. you got on your shirt? ABCs. Oh, yeah, which A, ones? B, C, D, E, 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 That's right. Very good. Alphabet. Yeah, it's the alphabet song. Why is the mommy's car a yip or more? Don't know about what. Okay, I'll be back. You will. Yeah. Okay. Where are you gonna go? I'm going home. Okay. Kevin. Mike. How are you? Good. I'm doing fine, dude. How are you doing? Ah. Uh, I'm not doing fine. I'm getting ready to have this kid, so yeah. losing a lot of money really fast. I guess I'm doing something right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wanted to find out if you got my voicemail. Uh, yeah. Shit, dude, I haven't checked my voicemail. Oh, uh, well, yeah. long story short, some cops out in Grayson County found a dead girl in a warehouse last November. Oh, Unfortunately, she was pregnant when she died. Uh -huh. Her boyfriend knocked her up. Now, what I've been able to gather, she committed suicide not too long after her boyfriend left her. Oh, that's uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty fucked up. Uh, yeah. Now, there's more, though. Uh, this April, three more bodies, same warehouse. Uh-huh. Yeah, and Mike, this is where it gets juicy. I've been talking with an eyewitness who claims he has concrete video evidence of what happened to all four. No Since they're all connected. No shit. He went to college with the kids who died. Uh, anyway, I've only spoken to him over the phone, uh -huh. but he's agreed to give me a full interview. And he's going to give me the videotape as long as I turn it into the cops afterward. So, mm. you interested? Uh, I, yeah, fuck yeah. Now count me in, dude. Okay. Great. Well, I need you down here as soon as possible. I'd like to get this interview before this guy changes his mind. Okay. Right. One more thing. Mm. As long as you're rolling, mm -hmm. don't say anything to me or anyone. Just be a fly on the wall. You think you can do that? I think I can do that, dude. Don't worry about it. Okay. Attention, passengers from flight 2210. Your baggage claim has been moved to carousel G. Passenger John Starr, 
<sighs> okay, so I've only spoken to Daniel over the phone. I have no idea what this guy's really like, what he's actually been through. But, uh, hey, he's letting us in this apartment with a couple of cameras, so we're taking advantage of it. I want to ask him about this girl, Lauren Hawthorne, who killed herself, her relationship with Drew Hayes, and then I want to dive right in. Let's see what this guy knows about how four college kids wound up dead at school in the middle of nowhere. I'd have a little bit of a good answer to one of those. Or maybe both. We'll see. Okay, so along with videotape, Dean also sent this, uh, camera. Uh, it's what he and Drew used, so for the interview, go ahead and use this. I'll take that from you. Well, like I, uh, I talked to you about on the phone, um, what, what I saw in the article, and after talking to you and, and hearing what you had to say, I mean, your story of what just happened, it just uh, fascinates me. You know, and I think it's I think it's something that can really affect the, the greater audience, you know, the great unwashed people out there. So what I just what I'd really like to do is just just talk to you about everything that happened. Anything that you want to say, anything you want to get off your chest, or tell people, or just um, and just document that. Alright, if I uh, plug some of this stuff in around here. Well, okay. Alright. Do that. Do what you need to do. So are you, are you paying the rent? Um, I sell, I sell things. Sell things. Okay. much anymore. I do a lot of these things now. And, uh, yeah. So. Oh, I mean, as long as you're, uh, you're happy with it. Yeah, I mean, I, I 
get to sit around. Yeah. The light coming on here. All right. Watch your eyes. There we go. It's a nice pipe you got there. It's a, it's a yeah, yeah. It was a, it was all yeah. It's Drew's. It was all Drew's. Well, I uh, I'd say, it all seem to have good taste. Had the cool shit. What made you decide to agree this interview? Curiosity. I've been, um, been in touch with a lot of people um, lately. Good friends. Been through a lot of shit. Right, right. Just at school together. Yeah. Starting off in a good foot. Sound good? I think we're uh, I think we're ready to go, Daniel. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh so alright. Should you tell me a little bit about Drew and Lauren? Hi. Hi. So um all right, so we're we're doing an incredibly uh, weird thing that looks rather stalker-ish. Now I'm suddenly realizing just how much taller I am than you. Um, Lauren here and I are having a kid, which I can't can't. <laughs> you can't see it yet. Can't see it yet, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, it's um, uh, it's gonna happen. And uh, because I'm kind of a shitty filmmaker, I uh, decided I was gonna put together a little something because I figured this unit would probably like it later on in life for laughing at it. This and, unit. Yeah, that unit, that unit's not going to care. Yeah, well. Uh, anyway, uh, first question for you, how do you think your friends are going to take this? Um, probably first they'll think I'm joking. Oh, yeah? They'll be like, yeah, whatever, bitch, but then I'll be like, no, seriously, and then they're going to be like, fuck. And I'll be like, yeah, but then they'll be excited. Well, how do you feel about it? Um, I haven't thought too much about it yet, but at this point, I mean, I'm mostly scared, not because of how my friends will react, mostly just because of, I'm scared to tell my parents. Yeah. Because, I mean, my cousin, you know, she got pregnant right out of high school, and she has her kid, and it's great now, but at the time, everyone, she sort of became the black sheep of the family. It was really crazy because in the end it ended up um, really pulling our family together. It gave us all something to bond over that we didn't have for a really long time. And so hopefully that's what our baby will do too. Yeah. I don't know, maybe I should hold this up more so I'm not like shooting up your nose. <laughs> or maybe you should sit down. There, yeah. that's much better. Alright. Uh, Alright, so uh, how are my friends going to take it? Um... <laughs> Yeah, how are your friends going to take it? Well, um... <laughs> uh, they're going to be, uh... Uh, fairly shocked. Um, generally, I'm the more uh, stable one uh, out of uh, most of the group of friends. I mean, I can't think of one of them that's had a girlfriend for longer than a few months. Mm -hmm. Considering been dating for a few years now that uh, uh, <laughs> maybe now they'll start using rubbers the, uh, doubtful <laughs> doubtful uh, 
they'll be okay with it. I mean, you know, I mean, for the most part, I mean, more so than anything, I mean, Ty will understand. He's a fairly responsible guy. And uh, Daniel, I mean, you know Daniel. He's kind of... Family, on the other hand, they're... Um, they're going to be a little more concerned about it, considering that I have a semester's worth of work left in school. Um, I'm just planning on graduating early, just kind of getting that out of the way so I can start making some money. Yeah, I mean, it's not like this happened freshman year, you know. We're like, yeah. we're almost there. It's yeah. close. I guess. I guess. Um, I kind of had to make some changes uh, in my life fairly quickly and um, had to stop drinking, had to stop smoking pot, had to stop just being a college kid uh, before I was ready to, but, you know, life's just kind of like that, throws you a series of curveballs, and so you just kind of have to go with it. But, I mean, I could have done worse for a mother, so. <laughs> I mean, it was sort of time to be giving that stuff up anyways, you know. It was oh, getting to be that time. Yeah, that's what everybody tells me. Um, yeah, I think we're done. So. He loved his people, really. He liked his people. Well, that's good. Yeah. I smoke in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I do. Everybody does. J Drew, you know, was gonna, you know, he was gonna stick it out. He was gonna stick it out, and he was, he was gonna be, you know, the man about it. And, uh, but then, you know, one day he just came, came to me and said, uh, you know, this really isn't something I could do. I mean, I went with him because, I mean, I was fucking tired of the whole academic thing for, you know, a while I needed a break. How'd you guys get back here to this apartment? You left Lauren and when you guys left the school. What happened? Eventually, uh, we found out that uh, Lauren had died. Um, and Drew kind of went kind of crazy because, you know, he never, you know, he wasn't talking to her at the time. His mind was occupied with different things, mostly, uh, you know, substances. So no, he wasn't, he wasn't thinking. Nobody was thinking. Was, what do you think after that? Once we calmed down a little bit after the, everything happened, and uh, we thought about it, and Drew thought about it, and he just, he, he decided that, you know, it was, Time to go back and just kind of like look at stuff, you know, um, make sense of, make sense of everything, trying to figure out, you know, what, what went wrong, you know, I mean, they lost somebody too, and so we all figured we would go back, talk to those people, talk to them. Fucking jerk off. Fuck you. Fuck you, man. I don't fucking tape you when you smoke pot. No, I don't fucking care. You don't fucking care? <laughs> no? No. I take it you also don't fucking care that this fucking vodka tastes like gasoline. No. No? No, I don't drink that shit. You don't? No. How is it half gone? You like this half? It's a good one. You sure you like It's a good half? one. You sure? It's a. It's an alright half. You know, you're alright. You're alright. You know I got this at. We're just... I'm... Good care. From your mom's asshole. Fuck off. That's where I got it. You should eat. eat? You should eat my ass. Eat? Eat? With a spoon. <laughs> oh, man. Mm. Mm. So what are we doing tomorrow? We should, don't ask me those we're, questions. We're going to Sherman, we're going, dummy. We're going to Sherman. Why are we going to Sherman? Why the fuck not? Why we're the not... fuck? I'll tell you why. 
Oh. I'll tell you why we're going. You, you want to know why what? we're going? You can tell me why. You know why? Alright. You know why? It's because I'm fucking crazy. Instead of, you know, doing the right thing, which I obviously did not do, uh, <laughs> uh, I left with your fucking ass. You don't remember anything? Certain things. You remember my girlfriend dying? Oh, well, that one. You remember that? You yeah, remember, why do you want to talk remember, about? You remember she was. Someone let me talk about that one. Right? Shut the fuck up for a second! You remember she was pregnant, right? Yeah, there's that one. Yeah. So, we're gonna go back. Cause we're fucking stupid. And we're gonna, you know, see all of our friends. And we're gonna fucking party it up. We're gonna. We're gonna fucking relive. All the good times. We live the life, man. We didn't say a whole lot on the drive up there. I mean, it was kind of a introspective moment. You know, I mean, you have to go, you have to go through it all to get home. You have to go back through it all to get back. You know, we've done it before, just remembering stuff. Tell me, where exactly is Sherman? Um, it's about 45 minutes to an hour north of Dallas, north of here. So, I mean, you gotta go through, you know, Richardson and Plano, I mean, and after Plano, you got McKinney, and then after McKinney, you got about 20 miles of, you know, just fields. Fields and highway. They have piles in the beginning. We've got bail bonds, Spanky's bail bonds, Schnickers auto body repair, and love monuments. See, you can even get your gravestones here. You can die here if you want. I, could, I would love to die. Here? I'd love to die here. Much to say. It's just a little, it's just a little town. You uh, know, downtown's pretty run down. There's nothing there. But I mean, I guess the college. I mean, Australia's kind of a college town. Then. Oh no, that's no, not a college town like you would call Austin or Dallas or something. It's, it's a small school, there's not a lot of kids there. Like, you can't really... I suppose it was a college town. <sighs> but... I don't know. You know, it's the country. Yes. You said you hung out a lot at uh, these houses on Lee Street. Yeah, right? yeah, I mean, Lee Street. So where Ty lives, and so... He was the only guy at the time that was living off campus, so it was nice to go over there. Drinking and camaraderie, and everybody was together. Yeah, I mean, just things, things happened over there, you know. You know, the smoking happened there, and the drinking happened there, and things happened there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was a good place to be, because Ty lived there. Ty was, our good, Ty was a good friend. Son of a bitch. What's up, man? What's up, dude? Oh, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. What's up, guys? Dude, man, we thought That's we'd fun. surprise you, man. What are you doing? Yeah, dude, what man? the hell are you doing out dude, here? You just chilling, playing a little guitar, man. Oh, right, yeah. How's your Saturday been? It's been good, man. I've just been hanging out. Yeah. Catch well, up? Catch you see Sam? He's taking a shit. Yeah, actually. he actually he is taking a shit. Yeah, Sam boy. Hey, hey, what's hey, up, man? Yeah, what the fuck is up, man? Just taking a nap. Yeah, I've been napping all day. <laughs> Everybody's <laughs> fucking napping, dude. Well, listen, I was wondering, you got any bud? Bud drawer, please. there's like there's some drawers underneath my desk. Uh huh. Here, you get, you take this. Bottom drawer. All right. Yeah, I'm just yeah. shooting for shit. You right know. On. I figured, why the hell not? Yeah. But whatever. Oh, God, where is it? 
It's under the desk right under the, here. Under the desk, dude, in uh, his room. Older, Good. older, but dumber. Yeah. At the same time. <laughs> uh, dude, what the fuck is a gun doing here? A gun? You've got a gun? I'm 21. Daniel's gonna play with it. Daniel, good God, that is a beauty though. <laughs> the weed's in there too. I know. I yeah, the, the weed is actually what we're looking for, yeah. Daniel. Sam, you know Ty had a gun? Yeah, it's 45. Yeah. It's 45, right? <laughs> oh well, fuck. Yeah. Alright, well hell, let's load this shit up. Sam, we put this on my bed. Thank you. So, man, what yeah, man, just well, I quit. I quit pre-med, so oh, no shit. yeah. So that's kind of been a pretty bad setup. The big burden off my shoulders for sure. I've just been kind of hanging out, and I don't know, like I couldn't, I couldn't handle a stressful load this semester anyway. With you know what yeah. had happened, so yeah. well, just, uh, looks a lot better than quitting school. No, yeah, no, no, yeah, <laughs> I did, yeah, I mean, yeah. That hasn't really been working out so much for us. I mean, we've been, we've got... It never does, man. Yeah. <laughs> Get dude. Shit, dude. This fuck made me completely fucking forget about that. Addiction. Goes back to Daniel. Uh, Actually, it's uh, it's yours. Dave Navarro. Weathers, dude, man. We it's... haven't seen you in a while. You look hungover as fuck. Is that why you look so unenthused to see us? No. I've just been reading about renewable sources of energy. What's up, man? So what has life been like? What do you mean? Since she's been gone. Man, I don't know. Um, because I mean, we all used to hang out all the time. Yeah, I know, and it's the like. And then we left, and then that happened. Yeah, the the groups, you know, like you know, we're all still friends, you know. But I mean, I don't know. There's you know a little bit of a. I think we're all kind of dealing with it our own way right now. I think everybody's just kind of, you know, I really want to hang out with them too right now, and that's just because we live together. So. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. But anyway, well, I mean, look, man, we're just here, like, I don't know, I guess it's kind of like a form of therapy for all of us. The I one mean, thing it's that, good to see y'all. Like, I mean, I hadn't seen y'all since. Well, you, you know, and I mean, the last thing we need to do right now as a group is to, like, separate. Yeah, the turtles cry. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I want to know. <laughs> I want to know where to go with that. That's what I want to know. It's like a celebratory thing, you know. We just got, we came back, you know. Everybody was like, well, they're coming back. We should have fun times, you know. We went to parties and, you know, Drew's birthday was coming up and we went, we had a birthday thing for Drew and everybody was excited to see us again, you know. We pulled into town and, I mean, I don't know, I mean, no, we never Daniel, skipped the beat. Daniel, yeah. Dude, who wants to help me with the beer? I'll carry one. Daniel's good. Happy birthday, Drew! Uh, Happy birthday. Uh, Dude, I'm really glad you made it this far. I didn't think you would. But, like, you know, we've been through some shit together. And, you know, I'm just glad. I'm glad it's your birthday. I'm glad we're celebrating. You're gonna make me cry. filming that and I want all three of us to get right here look at these fuckers these fuckers I've had sex with both these guys Sam twisted my nipple Sam twisted my nipple and Sam twisted Wes's nipple that is not you know what I did he did twist Wes's nipple I have had sex with nobody you've had sex with that is a goddamn lie Fibs fucks everyone I'm a virgin 
Actually, th this is an illegal. Hey, let's be nice about my piece of illegal paraphernalia. <laughs> hey, look at that! Right? Look at that! This is big. Oh, look at the flower! It's like a hippie pipe. Sarah, what are you doing out here? I didn't want to do anything else. Hey, somebody light my shit. Yeah, I was like, Someone light it shit. Yeah, I was like, 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 I was the cameraman just took some white light hits. Oh. Oh. <laughs> From time to time. From time to time, maybe. That shit happens. Right now, I'm fixing this. He showed me a few pictures of uh, a snowman. This is on the campus. Yeah, it was a big snowman. I mean, it snowed, dude, in March. I mean, uh, that afternoon, we kind of heard rumors of it going to happen, and nobody really thought it was going to happen because, you know, it gets cloudy, and it always just rained. You know, like, right in the middle of dinner, just... the sky opened up and snow everywhere. And I'm... I don't like the cold. I don't like it being cold. I... I hate it being cold, but it was something new, you know. I hadn't seen snow in a while. So we were just being kids, throwing snowballs, making snowmen. You know, we were in college, it was the last time we got to be kids. Dude, I can't. I cannot fucking believe it. Hey, start packing the bottom. Packing the bottom. Hey, start packing the bottom. Y'all got it? Hold Wait, it. Hold it. We just hold it. Just hold it. Just hold it. Awesome pack. Yeah. Our so props are gonna be gone too. Hands like cold tie. Dude. Oh, poor balls, man. <laughs> They're taking the punishment. <laughs> this looks like a dumbbell. <laughs> That fucking took forever. Yeah, we need to definitely Here, take this, record shit. So before us, hello, we have the mighty the snowman. Woo! Snowman of Texas. What's up, man? What's up, dude? I'm Poor boy. He just, uh, just doesn't know what to do with himself. He's so flabbergasted. Texas history, Yeah, I guess we're just putting that on. This is like a snowman you see in the pockets. What's the good side? This one? What's the snowman's good side? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make sure, make, hey, wait. Well, make sure I get his good side. Is this the sexiest side? Uh, he's, dude, he's leaning. He's, he's got a gangsta He's leaning. He's got a gangsta leg. I feel like we're in a cigarette music video. <laughs> I'm 
sipping on that purple drink. He got rainbow colors in his cup. You know what I'm saying? Damn, it takes a picture. He's got to stand on his chair. I just snack. <laughs> That was tight. That was tight. Yeah. Where's the other coal? Sam, you morose looking motherfucker. Odin morose, those looking stone. <laughs> <laughs> so you just say, like, fix that right eye. Hey, who's gonna take a picture of my camera? Do you have another charcoal for some of these all the bottles? It's like my birthday party. Wow, we got that. It's your birthday it's party. It's your birthday party. <laughs> and we love you. Happy birthday, oh, darling. Very, 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 <laughs> very, very, very much. <laughs> Ty's gonna fall the fuck off of that, and I'm gonna laugh my ass off. For sure. That'd be pretty fucking funny. <laughs> Do you like my dismount? What are we doing? What are we doing? Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. No, Justin. Hey, Daniel. Yeah. Huh. I miss you. Oh. Here we go. Sam's parents have a farm. We went down there, which, which was a uh, pretty interesting. I mean, like, we were still, we were still friends. I mean, nobody was thinking about what had happened, and we were getting over it. And yeah, I mean, we. So it sounds like things were settling in again. Everybody's just getting back to normal, back in routine. Um. No. It wasn't ever routine. You know, I can't, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm, uh, done for the day. Take a I shit. To, uh, we come back tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah, I'll get to do it. Fifth story, log 3rd of July. It has been disquieting to sit with Daniel. 
the air feels thick. He keeps his expressions hidden. He answers my questions as though I weren't there. I don't know what to make of him. The footage of Drew and Lauren seems incongruent. There are a few frowns. The two seem comfortable, committed. It just doesn't point to a chaotic relationship. Still, I can observe some inner conflict, something which would explain his actions. It has led me to examine myself a little further. Most disgusting flavor of baby okay. food. Yeah, we're looking for the most disgusting flavor. Chicken noodle sounds pretty gross. You look at all. You imagine what color the poop's gonna be if it eats this. Yeah. I would rather give my baby my own vomit. No, you to would eat. not. I would seriously, yeah, no, I would. You would not. And the trip looking for baby stuff, of course, cannot <laughs> be complete without looking at the enormous well, like selection they of diapers. God. Here's the ones for newborns. No, it's true that... We'll have to get a nice big box of them. Which I'm not going to attempt to pick up right now. Probably a good call. And then, hopefully our kid won't need the big kid underwears. Hopefully they'll be potty trained by the time they're <laughs> six. I'd if hope. not, I'm throwing them in the backyard. Or else there's like some emotional problems, which will definitely be our fault. Yeah. Oh, look how soft it looks. Oh, and we get a one-year subscription to Parents Magazine. Woohoo! You need a magazine to figure out if you're going to be a good parent or not? No, I think it's just, like, tips and stuff about how not to, like, shoot yourself in the head. I'm not entirely sure I know how to do that. Well, it's just, <clears> you know, like, don't do it. Just don't pull the trigger. Yeah. I want this one. Oh, look. No, that's <laughs> what cute. is that? Oh, it's a hat. Why is it? It's a big baby's head. Is this? Are baby's heads really shaped like this? I don't know. I, I don't. <laughs> I don't think I know any babies with square heads. Mine might have been. I don't know what's up with that. Okay, so I talked to Daniel this afternoon. He said that there is a parking garage attached to his building. So, find that. Should be able to avoid the crowd. Daniel, we're, uh, we're recording now. Yesterday we kind of left it on a weird note. He said there were a lot of good things going on, but uh, things weren't perfect. There was, there was something wrong. He said, just tell me a little bit more about that. I mean, just... The, the whole sweater started to unravel just like, um, just things started to come apart. They just started to come apart. How are they coming apart? Oh, you know, I mean, uh, we wish we went, we went to, um, we went to some places, we, we had, we went to some places in Thai. Thai just started to get, you know, antsy, weird, and he was, um, you know, he was getting pissed off that we had this camera all the time and we were just filming shit. Didn't know why that was happening. And, uh, I don't know, he just started getting angry. He started getting angry. I don't know. Are you always filming everything? 
I don't not, know, dude. We not everything. Too, Remember? I mean, we're, we're just, rock stars. We can't afford a whole set of tapes. We're not really rock stars. Yes. Or else we could ex afford tapes. Yeah. It just, it just seems like it's always on, and the red light taunts me. Well, you know, it's fun. Yeah, dude, I mean, you know, it's, it's fun whatever. things. It. Like, I mean, you don't really care that much, do you? Hey, you whatever. guys want a good happy hour? Oh, yeah, hell yeah. What? Dude. It's fucking Friday. Yeah, is Floodship over? Uh, I think this is the last week for Legends over, so... Kick ass, dude. Yeah, well, what time does it go down? Uh, probably 5. What time is it now? Dude, I don't know, like 4.30, 4.45, right? 5.20. Oh, my bad. Late right. to the party. Right. Go, cool. Daniel. What? Yeah, dude, for sure. Um, I don't know, what are you going to do right what now? What the fuck are you doing? Are you, are you going over there right now, or what? Uh, yeah, I'll probably head over there. Um, uh, shit to do. Yeah, you know, we got shit to do. On your way over there, you should call the carpenter and fix the door. Oh, Well, uh, I don't know, man. I, maybe you should, uh, clean the dishes once in a while. Well, I haven't left yet. Oh, well, there you go. You have left? There you go, see. For the party. <laughs> You have to clean the dishes first? Yeah. I'm jacking this beer. Keep it <laughs> real. Alright, man. See you later. See you there, bud. Yeah, dude. That was a... It's a little harsh, kind of man. A blow, I think. Well, I mean, between barnyard animal number one, number two, number three, yeah, that happens. Oh, well, thanks. Mm. Appreciate it, man. You're welcome. Okay, dude. Is it on? It's on now? Yeah. Alright, so where are we at right now? Where are we at? I need a beer. There's a bush. No, no, no fucking cups. We are at the Lambda Kai house. At happy hour. Friday afternoon. There's a happy I hour going Friday on here. We haven't been there here yet because they've been rushing their pledges. There's a lot of happy folks, for sure. Is that, is that Meredith over there? I don't know. Dude, that, yeah, no, dude, that's who he is. Well, I don't know that girl. Yeah, you do. Don't even lie to me. I don't know her, but she's cute. Sam, you know Meredith, she's right? She's cute at least. Where? It's over there, the, the fucking ginger. It's Meredith. Yeah, dude, you yeah. know Meredith. What's she doing here? I have no fucking clue. I'm definitely I'm sure she has the fire in her loins. <laughs> you think? For there. sure. Yeah. They're red and, and pubescent. <laughs> <laughs> Of it, but it really didn't work on it. Where's Drew at? Drew is canoodling, I believe, over there. Canoodling, what the fuck? I don't know why he's so few. What's her deal? What's her angle? She's kind of a bitch, man. And she looks not. And she looks nice enough. Well, you know, I mean, she's red. She's red. She's got the red hair. Yeah, I mean, I think I could see. Uh, I could see Drew much in the flame, man. Yeah. I mean, like I'm not sure, but I mean, dude, she's she's a little bit. Pull, do you think he can pull it off? Dude, I don't know, man. You see the fucking. You need a lot. Not let him do that, dude. You need to be. You know. You need to be. You know. Cog blocker in the positive end. Like, don't see. Look at this. That's no good, man. That's no good. I'm serious, man. What? It's just not, dude. I mean, see that doesn't be what you think, man. Whatever, man. Dude, that has bad news written all over it. Man. Whatever, man. He needs to get his team up for sure. What the fuck are you just doing? Whatever. Dude. Nothing. <laughs> Hold on, Kyle's ass. Be. We were already on record. We were still. On... Wait, was I recording? I have no idea. It's a nice corner. It is a nice corner. Look at that light. Uh, okay. I bet it's bright. Where the fuck is Drew? I don't know. Did he run off with that fucking gross ass? What? Dude, we need to fucking talk to you about that. Not there. And I'm like, Sam, where's my catering?
too. Anyways, I finally see him and Meredith, and they're walking off, and I go, and I go, and I get after him, and I'm like, hey, hey, where are you guys? Where are you guys going? And uh, Drew's like, hey, just give me the camera. And I get in the car and I leave. Got no camera. So, well, you know, things happen. Here, actually, I'm gonna take this though. And I'll, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> are you good? All right, how drunk are you, Daniel? All right, hey, let's go. Okay. All right, so like, we're, we're gonna get into some trouble. Wait, I, I need to roll down the window. So I'm drunk, and uh, uh, I'm in, uh, I'm in uh, fucking uh, Mary's bathroom, of all places. Um, she just told me something before she passed out. A little too much Xanax for one day, I think. She told me that Ty beat the shit out of her and raped her. I fucking believe it. I fucking believe it. I bet Ty did do it. I bet Ty did it. Because he's my friend and he's a piece of shit. And friends have a lot in common with each other, and I'm a piece of shit. Straight up, hands down. I'm just a useless motherfucker. I should have been a better man. Should have been a grown up. Should have taken care of Lauren. Should have stayed here. Instead, I fucking left her. I fucking left her, and she went crazy, and she fucking killed herself, and my fucking child. And fucking <laughs> fucked up the, the whole thing, man. I fucked up. There. I said it. I fucked up. 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 There's been a lot more to that girl. She was. She, she didn't do anything wrong to me. She didn't, you know, fucking cheat on me. She didn't fucking yell at me. She didn't do any of that shit. She was everything to me. And I fucking left her. Why? Because I was fucking scared? Because I just, you know, because I had to fucking, you know... I had to be selfish. I have to go after my own dreams or some shit like that.
fuck it. I didn't leave this. I didn't leave this message. I didn't fucking say anything, man. Fuck this shit. What the hell am I doing? So what are you thinking? I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just kind of... I'm, I'm happy. I'm excited. Or about, uh... Well, obviously, about the, uh... The kid that's on the way. The bun, in, the bun in the oven. The bun in the oven. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, of course I'm nervous and everything, but, you know, of course, when I first found out about this, I was like, well, fuck, our relationship's over. This is going to, like, fuck it up. But I guess the more and more I've thought about it, you know, I think you're going to be um, a really a really great father, so. Oh, wow. And that's, I think... Hmm. I think it'll it'll be good for our relationship, you know. I think this will everything will work out. Hmm. So. So how's it going? Well, you know, just kind of, kind of like you, just kind of thinking about a few things. Just like. Like. You know, to be perfectly honest, I, I can't even, I can't even answer that question. A lot of things have changed so quickly that, you know, I'm, I'm having to kind of reassess mm -hmm. everything. I have to reassess, you know, where my life's going, what we are and what we're going to be and. Last but not least, you know, there's a little me that's on the way that I, I never, I never even thought about happening, you know, and all my friends are, they're very reserved about the situation. They, they think that I'm kind of making a mistake and you know as a kid growing up I just had these dreams and these goals that you know we all have growing up you know people want to be you know the next great you know astronaut or architect or in my case a filmmaker and I'm realizing now that that's probably not going to happen it's it's a little disappointing and I'm trying to get over it because I don't want to inflict any kind of, you know, regret or rage of any kind on this kid. Mm -hmm. I'm confident though that things will work out in one way or another. They always find a way to do it, so yeah, geez, made me feel bad there for a second. Oh, yeah. I can tell in your voice. <clears throat> well, I mean, you know. <laughs> no one wants to kill someone else's dreams. No. Well, all these women that I've talked to are like, you know, a woman feels like she's a mother the second she finds out she's pregnant. But a guy doesn't feel like he's a father until he sees his kid. So, you know, I understand your trepidation and... You might not be excited when I am. Yeah, but sooner or later it'll catch up with me. Yeah. So. And just, like I said, I just hope things work out. So. You think they will? Do I think they will? Mm-hmm. They have to. I mean, you know. I wasn't raised to be a fuck-up. I mean, my parents never... never accepted failure, so... And I, you know, they always told me I had to take responsibility for all my actions, so... So, I mean, I have to.
through, he just kind of, um, he lost it, man. He just, um, How so? What do you mean? I mean, like, what, what happened? What do you, what do you, what do you mean? How so? He lost it. I mean, what the fuck, what the fuck would you do? You've got, I mean, you've got this girlfriend that dies, and then, you know, there's a, a baby in, in fucking side of her, and it's dead, and then you fucking, you come back, and your friends start to flip shit on you, and you've got fucking, you've got, like, you've got, you know, booze, and you've got weed, and you've got, you know, the, the blow, and you've got all these things, man. You've got all these things, and they fucking, they fucking blow up on you, and... The fucking Drew loses it. Well, like, what else? What else is? That shouldn't be hard to understand, dude. Who's that? I don't do this, Daniel. What are you doing? Uh, dude, I just got back. Meredith just dropped me off. Uh, yeah, dude. That's cool. What the hell happened to you last night? You don't even remember what happened after the Lambda Kai house? No. Yeah. Um, did you bang that Meredith girl? Well, just... um, uh, yeah. Really? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I did. That's fucking funny, dude. Um, but anyway, uh, dude, I don't know, man. Tab's pretty pissed off about that shit, though. You know? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of silly. What well, Ty's been kind of, uh, he's been kind of crazy lately, so. Yeah, I know. Well. I mean, what did he say? Well, he was just, you know, talking bullshit, talking bullshit, yeah. Talking bullshit? I mean, talking like, did he say anything specific? Um, I don't know, just said that girl was bad news bears or something, and, like, she wasn't, you know, you should, shouldn't hang out with her or something like that, something crazy. Well, he's fucked over. Dude, I've got to fucking take a shower. Uh -huh. That's what happens when you bang sluts, man. Thanks, Daniel. Mm. I appreciate it, man. You get dirty. You, know, at least you get I, sweaty. At least I remember. What you I start to smell night. like badge. Yeah, thanks. I appreciate it. I'm, uh -huh. glad, I'm glad that you're getting this on tape. Well, yeah. I'm Shit, dude. How are y'all? I'm doing all right, okay. man. I just got back. How's, how's everything going, man? Through camp. Oh, yeah, you're fucking supposed great. to be <laughs> yeah, weren't you supposed to be there this morning? Yeah, a little while ago. No, no. But that's all right. Freshmen aren't gonna, or prospective freshmen aren't gonna give too much of a shit, you know? Well, you know what? I'm just not interested anymore. I'm gonna fuck. So, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter? Yeah. What are you what are gonna do today? Uh, dude, we were just kind of planning on, uh, Going to the root camp, just kind of chilling out, I guess. Don't eat any more of my food, please. Are you okay, man? Do what the fuck? I mean, just, <laughs> you know, y'all are all kind of fucking up, man. What do you fucking mean? Up with the, what do you mean? Well, I mean, you're over here fucking, you know, Meredith goddamn Greer. Dude, what? Why are you giving me shit for that? It's Meredith Greer. Yeah, I, so? I mean, so what? I haven't fucked anyone since Lauren died, Ty. Why the pissy man. attitude? I mean, never mind. Drop your fucking nuts, just a little bit. Dude, shut the fuck up, man. I... I'm serious, dude. You're fucking up, and you don't know it yet. You're fucking up. How am I fucking up? You're fucking up! Trust me. Whatever, dude. Whatever. Whatever. This thing that they do, and they bring these kids, these little kids, they're not little kids, they're seniors in high school, they're thinking about maybe going to the school, and they have this whole day of events that is planned, and they have a concert, and jumping castles, and cotton candy, and fucking rainbows.
we come out of the concert. <clears throat> Drew and I, we got the camera going, and one of our buddies, Justin, he's there. And we're coming, we're walking away from where they had the concert at. And, um... We hear some screaming down the way, and we run over there, because there's they're in a fight, man. These two people are in a fight, they're screaming at each other. What's going on? Hey, dude! Hey! Back up! Back up! Back up! Back up! Alright, look, what the fuck is going on? What are you guys doing? What the fuck? We were in there not 15 minutes ago. We find that y'all are Listen, out. Drew, just fucking stay out of this, okay? This is not your deal. This is not your oh, deal. Oh, it's not my deal. No, you're it's not your fucking deal. You're about to guys. fucking... He's a fucking prick, dude. That's what his deal is. Hey, back up. Back up. Fight! Hey! Fuck. Right, look. Look, look. What? Look. Let's just chill out for a second. Just I'm chill. fucking chill. Chill out. Look, what the fuck is this, what, what, what the fuck is this about? Ask Ty. Sam fucking knows what it's about. He's fucking running his goddamn mouth. To who? Dude, what the who fuck the fuck did I tell? Sam, you know who you fucking told. Told what? What the fuck is it that y'all are talking yes, about? and what did I tell? Drew, what the fuck are you doing out here? Go back in there and fucking lick on Redhead. Go. Oh, great. Redhead. So you're going to bring that up as I'm trying to break a fight between two friends, two people that fucking live together. You're yes, really going to pull that goddamn this is car? Your business. It's none of my business. What's no, your... it's not. You fucked her too, Ty. Oh, what the well, fuck that, ever? And that just fucking Okay, great. wait, hold on. Hey, you shut the fuck up. Okay, is this between me and you or is it between me and him? Because I'm not doing this fucking triangle. Last bullshit. time I checked, it was between you and me. Well, hey. Right. All right, look, look, look. Look, did you fuck her? No. Be honest with me. No, I didn't fuck her. All right, well, she's saying shit. something different. That's bullshit. Well, dude. I don't give a fuck what she's saying. Just she's saying shit. something different, hey, hey, and he's hey, saying hey, something different. Hey, well, fucking, you know, he needs to shut the fuck up anyway, and you're going to listen to a redhead. Did you fucking hit her? No, I didn't fucking hit her, Drew. Did you rape her? No, I didn't fucking rape her, Drew. It's a lie. It's a fucking I told you, lie, Sam, dude. I'm gonna it's do it to you fucking lie. later. Okay, well, keep her in your goddamn trap. See what happens to you. All right, so, so what? what? All right, so you got a skank inside telling me that you fucking hit her, beat the shit out of her, raped her. You've got a guy right here who's telling me that this did fucking happen. And then I've okay, got oh, you, who's been okay, acting erratic, okay. who's been acting fucking weird as shit anyway for the last two goddamn okay, hey, weeks. Mr. Ty, no, Ty, Mr. you've been a little crazy. Dude, you have a Dude, no doubt. Just, will y'all just shut the fuck up and let me talk to him? What the fuck is going on? Okay, Mr. Chivalrous over here was so nice to Lauren. Oh my God. You were so nice to her, weren't you? I don't even want you to bring that up right now. What the fuck is oh, that? Oh, like I asked you to, to bring up Meredith? Anything? Yeah. Well, fuck you. Why hope you, that hurts. Why'd you, I hope that hurts. Why'd you bring that up? You brought up Meredith. Did you fuck Lauren, Ty? What the fuck? Are you going to keep attacking me over Did nothing? You fuck my ex-girlfriend. I'm not even going to fucking answer you on that. That is bullshit. Why won't you hey, answer me, Ty? Hey, you know what? Because he did. You and you get your fucking shit out of my house. You have it. 30 minutes. Ty, you're actually 30 dude, hey, crazy. Oh, so I don't give a fuck what y'all think. You're gonna Ty. kick us out. Yeah, gonna... fuck yeah, I'm gonna kick all y'all out. Go, oh yeah, that's fucking perfect. I fucking confront you about something. Oh, you you kick everybody out, Ty. and then you're gonna Ty, fucking dude. walk Ty. away. You're what gonna the walk fuck? away. Ty, where are you like, going? Like, you know what? Hey, you don't fucking worry about it. How many times did you me. fuck my girlfriend, Ty? How many times did you fucking hit her? What? Why the fuck did she kill herself, fucking Ty? Crazy. Are you gonna answer that? Did you probably have You'll fucking to do with it, asshole? Dude, you're, you're fucking crazy. Fucking dipshit! God damn. Fuck! Fucking maniac. He walks away and just, you know, what are we supposed to do then? It's his house. We should get out of the house. So, you guys fought outside and Ty, Ty kicked you out of his house. What'd you guys do? Well, um, so time comes, time comes, we gotta get the hell 
out of the house. Um, uh, Drew, Drew was talking to Meredith on the phone. Um, what was, what was being said? What were they talking about? Yeah, I mean, um, we were just trying to find a place to crash for that evening. Drew was on the phone with Meredith and then said, uh, you know, we're going to come over there. We're going to crash there for the night. And, um, um, we'll be there in a little while. Um, you know, if, if we're not there, you know, just call us. Call us if we're not there in like 30, maybe we, you know, I don't know. Maybe we're going to go get a bite to eat or something. I don't know. But after that, um, he comes up to me and he says, hey, uh, you need to go get and hide and tie his gun. Which to me at the time, it sounded a, a little ridiculous, you know. I mean, uh, what the fuck's Ty going to do with a gun, you know, with, with us? I mean, he was just being, I thought he was just being paranoid. You know, I didn't. I don't know why he wanted me to get a gun and hide it, but you know, I can go and I get the gun and I hide it, I just, you know, chunk it over the fence. And, uh, and when you hid Ty's gun, were you aware he had a second one? Uh, so, what did you guys do after you hid the gun? So, we, uh, I'm getting all our shit together and we're fucking walking out of the house and uh, getting ready to leave and we're saying bye to all these people that you know we hadn't seen in forever we just got to see him again and now we're leaving him again and <sighs> Sam's coming outside to say goodbye to us and uh, fucking we get outside <clears throat> we get outside and uh, there's Ty he's standing there standing there and he's like uh, I gotta show you guys something you know right before you go you know I know just gotta show you guys something and so Drew and I Drew and I are like okay I'm go I'm gonna go see this thing with you with you guys and uh, you know so Ty's our friend why shouldn't we we're not gonna see him for a while and he takes us uh, he takes us over to this, this warehouse why do you take you to the warehouse? Mm. I don't know. How was Drew taking it this whole time? Oh, Drew. No, Drew was just, uh, you know, I could tell he was kind of freaking out, but I mean, you know, we were both there together. Uh, you know, what? what was supposed to happen? You know, we're just, we're just going to go see something. There's not, it's nothing too terrifying about that. <sighs> it really sucks, okay? Like, I mean, man, don't fucking worry about it. Hey, it's, it's all going to get figured out here in a minute. Like, I got, I got something I want to carry on. It's going to resolve everything, all right? Well, that's kind of cool, I guess. Well, I mean... Okay, I'll trust you. I'll trust you. Just get you in the mountain. Go on, man. Alright. You okay, Danny boy? Yeah, dude, I'm fine. Somewhere good. Oh, Jesus. So you guys followed Ty to the warehouse? Yeah. What happened then? So we get to the warehouse, right? <clears throat> and, uh... <clears throat> We go, 
I'm going downstairs, and you know, at this point, we're just walking, and we're like, "What the fuck are you taking us?" And he's just like, "Shut up, just be quiet, just be quiet." Sam's just telling us to be quiet. <clears throat> so we get down there to the bottom of this basement, this warehouse. And we're standing there and we're trying to figure out what the fuck's going on. And trying to figure out what the fuck's going on. So Ty starts to tell us <clears throat> all this shit. Listen to me, listen to me, listen to me now. Fucking, this is Daniel. Fucking listen to me. Fucking, Ty killed Drew. Ty fucking, he fucking killed Drew. He fucking killed him. Fucking, Lauren didn't kill herself. Lauren just fucking, listen, stop, stop. Let's just call, just call the cops. Just call the cops right now. Just fucking, just call the fucking cops, okay? <laughs> I mean, what would you fucking done, you know? I hear the gunshot, and I'm not even, you know, I, I, just, I get the camera, and I'm, I run away. And I don't even, I don't even know, like, what if Ty just, what if Ty just shot the wall? And I don't even know if Drew's dead. Neither Ty nor Sam ever caught up with you. What happened to them after that? What do you think happened to them? What the fuck do you think happened to them? I don't fucking know.
I don't know. So, uh, so Sam was there fighting with Ty to the concert. Sam was there escorting you guys outside, meeting Ty right there. He followed you guys to the warehouse. He was in there the whole time. What was he doing? What, what was he with? Sam, was he... Sam was a fucking bitch, dude. I don't, I don't know why he was there. I mean, read the fucking paper. Read the, read the, watch the goddamn news. I don't mean. Those, it'll tell you something. I know. Daniel. Here you are. Everything said and done. What has transpired has transpired. What's it like for you now? Living here. Drew's place. Drew's stuff. And Drew's gone. I live here. I sell I sell Drew's thing I sell Drew's things to live here. I'm selling it off. Piece by piece. I don't what's it like? It's like it's like nothing, man. It's like there is nothing. But you know, like when we went back there, you know, it wasn't. You no, know, now it wasn't. It wasn't for me. It wasn't. It wasn't for Lauren. It wasn't for everybody back there. He just um, once it was all over. You know. I knew that uh, he just wanted to be back where he was, the way it was before. I have one more question for you. No. No. You know what? No. You, you can just get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Pip's story, log 25th of August, 2009. Spoke with Officer Harrison of the Denison Police Department. They received Daniel's videotape and cleared it as evidence. After an eight-month investigation, the official report states that, quote, 
21-year-old Ty Gibson murdered 22-year-old Drew Hayes on 12th of April 2009 with an unlicensed handgun. 22-year-old Daniel Phipps and 21-year-old Sam Macklin were present as witnesses, end quote. Videotape confirmed Daniel's original testimony that he fled the scene after the first gunshot and contacted Meredith Greer before driving back to Dallas. According to the report, police found the bodies of Ty and Sam in the warehouse with signs of a physical struggle. Both suffered a shot to the head, and the police concluded that after a violent argument, Ty murdered Sam and took his own life. With the evidence of Ty's confession on videotape, Lauren Hawthorne was officially cleared of a suicide charge and her family notified. If you were to look at the report a week ago, most of this was already the unofficial story from Daniel's testimony. But he kept the videotape hidden from the police for three months after the incident, right up until my interview. I haven't contacted him since. Daniel was pretty uncooperative with the police, refusing any additional questioning. I figure if he knows anything else, he's not telling anyone. After a paycheck, a promising career. I'm haunted by this story. I made it. They didn't. That never makes sense to me. I asked Officer Harrison if this sort of incident was common. He said he didn't see much in this area, but it's not a unique story. Well, in hindsight, they should have. No one saw it coming. Yeah. I'm sure it's okay. Okay. Do you like having your picture taken? Yeah, that's fun. It is fun? Yes. Yeah. Is it as fun as looking in a mirror? Yeah. Is it more fun than looking in a mirror? Yeah. Really? Yeah. 